Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. This is KMZ and today this is part three, the final part of my little mini series of Switch tutorial videos that I've done regarding cheats on the Switch. Today we are going to focus on cheats toggling. Two things specifically. The first one is going to be how to make sure that the cheats are always off. So that way, whenever you start a game and you bring up the cheats, whether you're using the overlay menu like I'm doing here or whether you're using the Edison homebrew, the cheats are all turned off by default. Some people have it where they just are always on no matter which game it is, all the cheats are on and this can cause some unwanted effects. So I'm going to show you on how to make it so that they're always off. Then the second thing we're going to cover is how to make it so that the system will remember which cheats you want to be on and which ones you want to be off. So that way, whenever you start a game, you don't have to keep turning on the same cheats over and over again. It will actually remember which ones you had on and which ones you wanted to keep off, which can make things very convenient. Now this is for atmosphere users. I don't know if this will work on SXOS, but you can follow along and see if you can make the same changes. Maybe you can find the same file or file that's similar and you can maybe make the changes there if things are a little bit similar. But it is for atmosphere, any version of atmosphere, whether you're using it by itself or with an all-in-one package deal like Deep Sea Cosmos or whatever, it's the same thing. It's assumed that up to this point you have watched parts one and two two of this series and any other videos that I've linked in the description of those videos. I'm not going to be holding your hand through the basic stuff. So it's assumed that you know your way also around a modded switch and how to get files in and out of your SD card, either via FTP or some other method. The only thing we'll need here today is a notepad type editor program or a text editor. I'll be using notepad plus plus on my PC, but you can do this from a phone or a smart device as long as you have a notepad type editor there, then you'll be good to go. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so I am connected to my switch via FTP and this is my SD card. We're going to go into the atmosphere folder and then we're going to go into the config folder. And this is the file that we need. Now, if you have other files here or don't have other files, it doesn't matter. The one we need is system settings.ini. Now, if you don't have this file there, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and back out, go into the config templates, and there is a template of this file right there, system settings.ini. You want to make a copy of it so that way you always have this one here. Now go back into config and you can go ahead and paste the copy there. Now, once you have this file here, you can go ahead and drag it out so we can edit it. I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to my desktop. Now, once it's on my desktop, there we go. This is the point where we will open it with our notepad program here. I'm going to use notepad plus plus. And now that we have it open, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is focus on making sure that all the cheats are turned off by default. So if you are experiencing the issue when whenever you go into a game and you bring up the cheats, they're always all on. I'm gonna show you how to make it so that they're always all off. The issue is right here in this line. This line reads DMNT cheats enabled by default equals U8 exclamation point zero X1. The one means that they are turned on. So if you take that one and you turn it to a zero, this will make it so that all the cheats are turned off by default. Now you also wanna make sure that at the front of this D, there are no spaces and no semicolons. You see how pretty much almost everything here has a space and the semicolon. So you wanna make sure that if that exists here, you delete the space, delete the semicolon so that the D is all the way to the left. Once you've done that and you've changed the one to a zero, technically that's it. All you need to do is save the file and then you can go ahead and put the file back into the config folder that's an atmosphere, reboot your system, and then when you use the cheats and you bring them up, you will notice they will all be off. Now, as an added bonus, this next step is optional, so you don't have to do it, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do here in order to make the system remember which cheats you want on and which cheats you want off for every single game. 
Now, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and go down a few lines and you'll see this entry here, which reads DMNT, always save cheat toggles equals, and then you have the same characters right there. Notice how this ends in a zero. Well, we're going to go ahead and change that to a one. Now, when we change it to a one, it will always save our toggles, meaning it will remember which ones you've turned on and which ones you have off for each and every single game. We also want to make sure here at the front of this D that there's no space and no semicolon, just like the top one. So here we're going to delete the space, delete the semicolon. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and save the file. And you can do both of these things at the same time. You don't have to do one at a time. So once you've done whatever it is you want to do here, again, go ahead and save it. Once you've saved it, you can go ahead and go back into the config folder and just put that file back in. You can overwrite the one that's there. And there we go. After you've made the changes again, you need to do a full reboot of your switch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let's see what happens. All right. So we're back at the game Skyforce reloaded. Let's go ahead and bring up the overlay menu. Let's go into Edison. Let's go into the cheats. And just like before, all the cheats are off by default, which is good. That's what we want. But we've enabled the option for it to remember which ones we toggle on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and let's turn on infinite health. Let's turn on infinite stars and we'll leave all the rest of them off. Let's get out of the overlay menu and then let's go ahead and quit the game completely. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple of seconds. Now let's go back into it. And now when we go back into it and we bring up the cheats, it should remember the two we left on and all the other ones should be off. So let's see if it worked. Okay, let me bring up the overlay menu again and let's check out the cheats. And there we go the two we had on it remembered and it kept all the other ones off and it will do this for each and every game now if you don't use the overlay menu that's fine this works exactly the same way with the edison homebrew and just to show you let's go ahead and get out of the game but we're not going to quit we're just going to hit the home button we're going to leave it running let's go into album and that'll take us into the applet mode of the homebrew menu which is fine let's go into edison and we can see Skyforce Reloaded is running in the background. Let's go into the little cheats box. And there we go. The two cheats that we have on have little X's by the box. And then the ones that are off do not have the X. So this can be used with either the homebrew and or the overlay menu exactly the same way. And that is how it's done. And that will end this video and end the little mini series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you picked up something, maybe something helpful, useful, informative along the way. If you want to show your appreciation to the channel and some love, of course, the best way to do that, just hit the like button, subscribe, and maybe hit that notification bell. There's also so other ways to support the channel with contributions and those methods are down in the description. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, make sure you have fun and I will catch you on the next one.